the teacher, her, her kindergarten teacher came to me and said, you know, Ariana's really lovely, but we have this issue that when she gets upset with her fellow classmates, she goes right up into their face, nose to nose, and goes, Aah! And so it's a little bit of a problem. We were wondering if, if you could talk to her about that so that she doesn't do that so much. And, and I said, okay. And so I went home and I said, Ariana, you know, when you get angry, you have to learn how to control your anger a little more. And uh, can we work on this? And, you know, you shouldn't really be roaring at your classmates like a lion. And she kind of went up to me nose to nose. And she went, Aah! and I said, okay, we'll talk about this next week. She doesn't do it anymore, mostly. I'm an antique dealer. My mother's an antique dealer as well. My mother once bought a picture at a flea market for 20 bucks. She gives it to Christie's, and Christie says, this is really good. We're going to put it in auction. We're going to put a $3,500 reserve on it. So the auction comes and goes. My mother calls the day after the auction, and she says, oh, good brain. I said, 35. And I talk to my mother later, and she's a little disappointed. I said, Mom, you paid 20 bucks for this thing. It's $3,500. So a month goes by. My mother gets a check, she calls me up. And you know that old saying, you know, they didn't know whether she should go blind? My mother says, they pay $3,500. They brought $35,000. I said, well, gee, man, that's fantastic. Well, you got to know my mother. My mother could always see the cloud behind every silver lining. My mother goes, <laughs> well, I suppose I'll have to pay taxes on this now. <laughs> When I was in college, um, this was quite a long time ago, when Elvis Presley was, was actually still alive. And I was well known among my friends for doing an Elvis Presley invitation. So there was this big stage show of students, and there was a whole rock band that I actually rehearsed with, despite the fact that I couldn't say what key any of the songs were when they asked me. But I did four or five songs, all of Elvis. There was this one guy in college that always had to be a big shot. We always have to be the, the guy on stage, the guy in the middle, the, the guy who was more important than anyone else. And he actually went on stage in the middle of my doing Elvis Presley, and piece by piece, he ripped my clothes off while I stayed there the entire time singing until I was pretty much in my underwear. And uh, I got no offers for striptease work afterward. but. It was, it was a moment that was both embarrassing and, and strangely compelling. <laughs> well, I've been waiting to say this. Who's telling the truth and who's lying? Uh, so we'll start with Doria at first. Um, clap loud if you thought she was lying. Okay, Chris. A smattering. Uh, if you thought Chris was lying. A smattering. If you thought Daniel was lying. A thunderous applause. Wow, wow. And so, will the real liar please step forward? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So now we're going to strip him. No. Yeah. Right. Um, Go ahead. <laughs>